if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good guys, morning to you. I pray all is well with you on this fine Friday, beloved. It is Friday, September the 24th. Listen, I'm going to shout out Sister Whitney. Um, Sister Whitney, uh, right now, I'm going to shout her out right now because today is her birthday. So we're going to shout out Sister Whitney right now. Happy birthday, Sister Whitney. Whitney. Wait, 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 wait. Happy birthday to you. Listen, it's Friday, another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Remember, when you come in, say hello to me so I can say hello to you back. Good morning, um, Bambi Thompson. Good morning, First Lady. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good guys, morning to all of you this morning. This morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Look here, beloved. Let's get our scripture for this Friday morning. Let's see what the Lord is saying this morning. Proverbs 10 and 12. Boy, that book of wisdom, I tell you, boy. It says, hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers over all wrongs. Hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers over all wrongs. Rooms. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chanel Little. Good morning, Michelle Sachi. Good morning to you. Listen, hatred covers. I mean, hatred stirs up dissension. Good morning, Victoria. But love covers all wrong. Good morning, Kenita. Listen, when it talks about that, just just like piggybacking off of yesterday, you know, we're so quick to, um talk about someone we're so quick to point the finger at someone we're so quick to do all of that but we don't take time to look at ourselves we don't take the time to be the example that the bible christ tells us to be and then we want to look at others and flap off at the mouth about them well like i said you can't reach nobody flapping off at the mouth you can't Notice how you would feel someone come flap off at the mouth at you. What you what you gonna do? Flap off back, right? So we can't do that. How do we reach those by love? Bible says that love covers all wrong. Beloved, there is nowhere in the Bible that Christ clap back, <laughs> jump back. At somebody. No. What did he do? He showed love. Period. Love was what drawed the people. Because they were so used to all the other hatred and stuff. They were used to that. They were used to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Every time you did something, oh, we're going to cut your throat off. Oh, we're going to cut your tongue out. Oh, we're going to cut your hands off. They were used to that. Christ came and he gave another example. He showed us what it really means for love to cover all wrongs. And that's what we got to do. We're going to make mistakes. And so other people are going to make mistakes. When you make a mistake, don't you want somebody to, to come to you and bring you back to grace? Bring you back in love? Huh? I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, when you do wrong, you want somebody to, to, to cover you. Not blast you out, not put it out there, not you know what I'm saying. If we can't show love, and guess what? The other, the other option is you you hate, you got hatred in your heart. And why? Why do you got hatred in your heart when God has loved you beyond measures? He has covered you beyond measure. He didn't expose your mess, so why you want to expose other people's stuff, huh? Why you want to stir up dissension, huh? Come on now, we we gotta remember that. We've gotta remember that. Christ didn't do us like that, so why are we going to do our brothers and our sisters like that? I'm just saying. 
Can the church say amen? Let us today remember that hatred stirs up dissension. Especially in the body of Christ. But love covers all wrong. Yeah, you might have been wrong. Yeah, you know, might not have been uh, what you should have did. It might not have been according to whatever. (laughs) But come on, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together. That's what the scripture says. God says, "I'm, I'm, I'm omnipotent. I already know what you've done. And because I already know what you've done, let's talk about that. Let let me get you back to a place. We so busy to quit and cut people off and cut people off. We ain't no better than the Pharisees and Sadducees sometimes. But the devil is a lie. We want to draw folk. Love is what lifted us. Love is what is drawn us. And love is what's going to continue to strengthen us. You heard? <laughs> let's pray. Father. We thank you this morning for this word. We thank you for this moment, this opportunity to come together and to pray and fellowship and commune with each other and you. God, We I pray this morning, Lord, that love covers all. And I know that love covers all because you are love. And God, we are commanded to show love, to love one another. And so, God, we thank you now. We thank you that you have washed us, that you have cleansed us, that you have forgiven us of all things that we could ever do, present, past, and future. And so, God, help us to render that same love to our fellow brothers and sisters. And, God, I thank you. I thank you for loving me even in my role. I thank you for keeping me even when I didn't want to be kept. God, I thank you for continuously holding me, God, in the midst of anything and everything. Ah, Whether wrong or right, God, I know that you've always been there because you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And so, God, I thank you. Just like those who are watching this morning, they thank you too, God, for you've never left them. Even when they've been wrong, even when they fell short, even when they didn't do all of what you had wanted them to do. God, you still never left them. You covered them. Your hand of protection was all over us, God. And if it wasn't for your love, God, we don't know where we would be today. But God, we thank you. We ask you to bless us now. Bless those who are watching now. Bless those that will watch this later, oh God. And bless those, oh God, that may have already been on this morning. That they too can experience your love. Father, we thank you. And we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen, (laughs) amen. All right, good guys, morning to all of y'all. Great morning, good, great, good morning to you, good morning. Good morning, First Lady. I say good morning, First Lady. Good morning, Brandon Thompson. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning, Chanel Little, or Minister Chanel Little. Good morning to you. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, good guys, morning to all the rest of you that are on. I can't see you, but I see that there's many more numbers than what's showing here. So good guys, morning to you. God bless y'all. Y'all have a great day. It's Friday. Day. Again, happy birthday to Sister Whitney. Again, y'all have a good day, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place for another Good Guys Morning moment. Good Guys Morning to you. God bless you. Y'all have a good day. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. Want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning.